All right, I'm going. Hey, Dusty, it's good to meet you again. Uh, been a while since I've seen you. Yeah. Uh, last rally was at uh, King George Square, I think. Yeah, King George. Bumped into you there. Yeah. That was the. Was that the first one? It was the first one I went to for the Freedom Day rallies. Uh, the first Freedom Day rally one was about six weeks ago here. Yeah. And there was probably five times as many people. Yeah, it was. Um, and it was a good day. Yeah. And the police were quite handy that day. Yeah. They weren't here looking for trouble. They, they were a bit stipulating about a couple of little regulations. Did you have a chat to them? Did you actually talk to them? Yeah, my, my general... I stay away, I just like... No, nah, my, gen my general habit is, I, I, first thing I do is go out and talk to the police. Okay. And I think that's what the organisers should probably do better, yeah. is get a group of people to go up and engage with the police yeah. to Check get a food. sentiment of what, they, oh, yeah, what they're feeling. Animals. Yeah, <laughs> feel like what they're doing today. I mean, you know, I walked over to the coppers today, he wasn't the head cop. I said, mate, maybe you should do a bit of PR because you're here to serve the people. If you see something going wrong, put the mask on and walk in between the people and say, mate, come on, do us a favour, just keep your distance and, and interact with the people instead of looking like a bunch of thugs ready to come and jump on them. Ready to fucking adjust, uh, arrest Dusty before he gets his fucking cold beer in him for the day. Yeah, well, I'm signing up on the beer, but... Oh, it's all right. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, and so you've got your YouTube channel. What, what's your YouTube channel? My new YouTube channel is called The Devil's Advocate. <laughs> the Devil's Advocate. Uh, Devil's what I Advocate. hope to do yeah. is because so you're there's... you're filming me, I'm filming you. Yeah. Because there's an upcoming election, yeah. what I'm going to do is go to these mobile offices, pop-up offices of the politicians. Right, yeah. And I want to scrutinise them a bit. Yeah. So see. far, I've gotten... I've caught up with uh, a state member and a federal member over at uh, Redland. No, hang on. Green Red Bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were very reluctant to talk on camera. Yeah. Uh, and he was telling me that, no, I, I don't consent to you filming me. And I sort of had a bit of chuckle and I go, well, mate, you're a public official and you're in a public arena. Did you um, film it? Yeah, yeah, I filmed it all. I think you did. Because I, I, I said to him, I said, mate, you don't, you don't have a right to tell me not to film. You have yeah. a right not to interact. Yeah. But if they don't interact, well, then that doesn't make them look like real public sort of... Um, well, representatives just, yeah. they don't want the true character or the truth to come out yeah. they just want to put out that little that little on the shiny politician well, I did go to a bloke named Luke Howarth up in Redcliffe and yeah. I went to his office because most of them say I'll go to my office and make an appointment and we'll get back to you yeah. they never get back to me yeah, yeah, um, yeah. this one particular bloke Luke Howarth he goes his secretary or whoever she was she goes um, look what are the topics? And I go, well, you know, this, 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 and A, B, C. She goes, well, what sort of questions? I said, well, look, I want some spontaneity. Yeah, if if, if, I, if, I tell, if I tell you what the questions are and the topics are, we might as well be in China having a controlled conversation. Yeah. So where's the spontaneity? And, of course, they never got back to me. How many beers you have at the pub? How many hours sleep you had a night? See, I'm not worried about it. I'm, 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 more, I'm more into the issues. The real shit. Yeah, because I... Me, the children around. Yeah. Because I... I've, I've, got, I've done a bit of research because I'm on a pension. Yeah. So I get the time to do the research. Yeah. And I haven't... I've caught up with one greenie who... And they always stump on about windmills and solar panels. And I, call, I always raise the subject about thorium molten salt reactors, which yeah. is nuclear. Yeah. But the safety feature on that is about 10 times safer than, than uranium. Um, and I also think that we're not going that way because of the simple fact that the people who own the coal mines, who also probably make money about getting it to the electricity companies and own the electricity companies, yeah. that would upset their little money-making scheme. So that's why we're not going to Thorium. And, and it's not like just the coal we use, it's all the coal we export. And it's As well. Billions China and India are heavily invested into Thorium molten salt reactors. So they want to go for the clean energy. Yeah. But it's an old... It's an old nuclear source because yep. in 1960 at the Oak Ridge facility, uh, America had uranium and thorium. They had them both working. Nice. They went with uranium because the byproduct is plutonium. Uh, they you, make bombs out of it. Thorium doesn't do that. You can make thorium reactors which don't produce plutonium. Sweet. They Sounds can. Good. They can produce plutonium, yeah. but not as much. But you can make them so they don't. Mm. And it's clean energy. And there's other issues that I jump on them about the sealed document that John Howard sealed Is that 20 years ago. Files? Yeah, 28 names. One of them's an ex-prime minister. Um, I'd like to see that. Where's our freedom of information from Australia? 
So for everyone that's ordered, so pre-ordered, this is the part that I'm seeing now. I, didn't, I was never interested in politics for years and years. And I went, no, and, um, don't vote for him because you only got to encourage him. Should we listen for a minute? Yeah, we should. We'll stop. We'll stop. We'll come back to this later. When he gets, yeah. All right. Are you going to be interviewing these guys? Um, Dude with the beards got a huge YouTube channel. Get him up with the blue. Which one? See the dude with the blue denim, double denim. That's Max Eigen. Yeah, Eigen. Eigen. Actually, like I've listened to a few of his. He's, yeah. he's, he, make, sure he makes he makes a lot of sense. Him. He makes a lot of sense in his videos. And apparently, just I don't know them. I want to get to know. Them. I want to see if they can start fucking Telegram chats because that's where I'm at. I'm booted off Instagram and Facebook. And I'm I'm a internet and technological idiot. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm flat out. I'm flat out knowing how to run my YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to edit it, so yeah. everything I put on is going to be straight out raw. Yeah. Um. That, that's why when I interview these politicians, you're gonna if I fuck up, you're gonna see it. <laughs> um, that's how I started. That's like the Dusty Bogan. Well, you ever heard the expression steel sharpens steel? Iron sharpens iron. Yeah. That's the same yeah. thing. I'm, I'm not going to get any smarter and any any learn any unless vocal. Get out there. Go, yeah, unless you learn any vocabulary I'll sort of gymnastics. I'll fucking help you and show you what I use and see yeah. if I can help you on the right direction. Well, I've seen some of your videos. I haven't edited them. I'm going, this will go on Censored TV, so... Censored? Yeah, there'll be a bit of editing into it. Okay, because yeah. I'm, all I'm doing right now is I'm hopefully going to try to get a 1,000 subscribers because YouTube won't yeah, pay until you've got a 1,000. And then, then I'm going to use that money to start buying flyers and put it in people's letterboxes and start yeah. really giving it to the politicians. Yeah. Anything that they're doing wrong, I'm going to go, you know, you're doing it wrong. So I'm not here to make money. I don't really give a shit about money. I never yeah. have. So that's why I'm broke now. You just want to fuel a bit of cash to fucking keep, you, keep the uh, momentum and get the message out there and yeah. spread the message further. Like, most of the people I talk to, because I live itinerant, I live in a bus, most of the people I talk to already know there's something wrong and they go oh the system's broken we need to fix it we need to change and I go well yeah well what's it what's the solution and I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back to you the same as I did a long time ago yep. about voting online yeah now that's that's a solution which will address many issues at the same time but yeah voting what, what, are they, what are they got here they got uh, the vaccine 5g there's a men's rights up there, um, there's a few different issues here. Yeah. So I'm talking about let's have a solution to all the issues. Mm-hmm. So if you again, if you put the voting app online and make it like it's a Facebook, you go to MyGov, put on a link. You must be Australian, must be a voter. Then that link takes you to a, like a Facebook type of thing. Everyone can comment and scrutinise and discuss with each other. Mm-hmm. And then we send that to Parliament and say, there you go, fuckers. Now act on this. So because that way, someone in Perth can talk to someone in Brisbane. Someone in Darwin can talk to someone in Melbourne, Adelaide, Weeper, yeah. and we can sort it out right now if we really want to interact and, and shall we say, network, we come to a place like this, and we're sort of limited. Yeah. So, get pushed out by the real fucking professional boats. They're not professional. <laughs> what is professional? <laughs> an expert. What's an like expert? The mullet half is half uh, An expert. Outside. Beers on the belt. An expert is a drip on the pressure. Yeah. That's all an expert is. Yeah. Most of the time, the layman's got a reasonable grasp on what needs to happen, or what is happening, what needs to happen. But experts give you a finer point and big fancy words and lose you. And a big fucking bill at the end. And a big bill at the end. I'd rather listen to someone who can talk about a complex situation or problem and simplify it. Because yeah. if you can't simplify a problem to talk to a 12-year-old child and have the 12-year-old child go, oh, now I understand, mm. then you're just an arrogant prick, yeah. right? Yeah. So why? You know, let's, let's yeah. simplify let's everything. Get everyone on board in the way we can communicate together and get the message out there. Simplify. Simplify. What, what, that, that's that catch cry of the American soldier where they go, simplify. Yeah. Well, let's do the same thing. Let's simplify everything. And if we had this... Well, we could go online and we could all talk to each other. We could simplify things. Yeah. We go, no, that's too complicated. Like, if I agree with wind and solar, it would have its place. Mm. But it's not going to sustain the, the growing population. Yeah. So we need something more powerful. Yeah. And with these molten salt reactors, let's combine them with the Burdekin, uh, sorry, the Bradfield scheme. Pump that water inland. Amen. All goes to Lake Air. 
and here's, here's off the cuff far fetched idea yeah. let's let's dig a canal from Port Augusta to Lake Eyre let's fill it up with salt no, water no let's fill it up with salt water permanently why do like evaporate and cause like it would make it, rain and shit like that it would make it's own ecosystem yeah so once you get that and if you've got fresh water pumping in from Weeper uh, from uh, Tully from the Bradfield stream sooner or later that water that salt water would get pushed out and yeah. that that, that, it's all salt plain now when it's even dry. It, I've heard that the plan with that was, was like, even if it's all salt water, they get flooded into the fucking inland sea. They're counting on it evaporating and then 